And this is the next game coming from Lemory Games that's part of their series of games that takes you to different locations in the world, with the previous game being Chili Mafia that took you to Mexico, which was a really well regarded game when it launched, and I think it was also my pick of the week, which is interesting because this one is a party game which I don't normally gravitate towards, but the design on this one really did impress me, and I think it will appeal to more of the gamer type gamers out there. And this one's impressing me as well because it really is offering you a solid game with a really simple rule set, which is never a bad mix. But this one is taking players all the way to Nepal where players are going to be competing to build different structures, earning victory points for the type of structure that you're able to build, but then also for the victory points outlined on those cards. So there is some set collection here where you're trying to create different combos of cards, but this one is a bluffing game because players are going to be bidding in order to acquire those different cards. And I really like the way that the bidding works here because each round players are going to be using their limited number of bid tokens in order to bid for either a row or column of cards. And adding on top of this, each of these cards are dual use, which I think is a really nice addition to this mechanism because it adds a lot more utility to each of these cards, making them a lot more attractive, which means that more players are probably going to want them. There's four cards available for players to bid on each round, but each player is only going to be able to bid on two of those cards because wherever they end up putting their token, they're going to be bidding on essentially that entire row. And then whichever player has the higher bid in that intersection point of those tokens is going to be gaining those cards. This means that you could be winning up to two cards each round, but you might just win one of those cards or even none of them at all. But something that's nice about this game is that no matter what the outcome is, you're always walking away with two cards because any of the cards that you didn't win, you're going be drawing that number of cards from the draw deck and of course the benefit here is that if you're winning the cards you're actually getting the cards that you want whereas if you're drawing from the deck you might end up with something that's less useful but of course this is a bidding and bluffing game so the other players don't know exactly which token you're putting out from your supply so if there's not a card out there that you particularly want that badly you could always put out one of your lower tokens just to get rid of it since drawing from the deck might actually be the better option and once the players have acquired their cards they're going to be choosing one of the decide to either start their building with or to add on to an existing building, earning the victory points for any buildings that they're able to complete. And the game continues like this for a series of rounds, and the player with the most victory points at the end of the game wins the game. And as always, you can find links to this campaign and all the others I have to mention in the description below.